Hey, I bet you liked the last three videos. Are you ready for technique number two? All right, let's go. You're gonna do the kapchang or the elbow strike. And this is from the third form in Wing Chun, BUG. And how are we gonna use it? We're gonna use it like this. So let's say that I'm fighting someone that is trained in boxing. All right, a lot of times when you throw a jab, you're gonna block it with a vertical block. Perfect time to get in there and lock in this block. Once you lock in this block with a little push, you want to move your elbow around and strike him right in the ear. Or if you're closer, right, right in the back of the head when you reach it. Okay? Why do I lock in his arms here? Because if he moves it back to a helmet block, right, nothing I can do here. Okay, he's got a really good protection here. Okay? So I got it. once I count here, I got lock him in, boom. Once I lock him for a second, I pull it back, push, push, pull, push, pull, elbow. Okay? So that's one way to use it uh, to do it. I can do it from this side, pull, elbow. Now I've got his hands here, perfect place to elbow right across the jaw, or right behind the ear here. It really hurts. Nice soft spot there. Okay. Now let's say he's really good. He's got really good reflexes. Oh, he moves back. That's okay because in the cup down, it's cup down, right? We sink at the end. So he moves back. Boom, sink. I still got his chest. All right, we got enough momentum. Let's go this way. Oh, oh this way. I go this way. You move back. I go boom. Okay. So that's not comfortable, especially when the stern. Okay. Ideally, you want to go boom, boom, you move back. And then, okay, sink. Let you do the sternum. Okay. It's not a knockout blow, but at least you got something. Instead of missing, you got something, right? Okay, another way of using the uh, the um, cup sound is like this. So let's say punch, you got his arm, good, boom, right here, behind the elbow, turn around this way. Okay, so manage to trap his arm, boom, okay, up. Well, here's what you say, that's not a cup sound, it's going upwards. Well, sure it is, because you gotta start from here, right? You gotta start from here, from your hip, so from your hip. This way. Okay, you want to go about three fingers behind the elbow joint. That's where it's the most painful. And right there. Okay, now what you can do is move it up, then move it down. Okay, you turn them up. Alright, so that's it. And then another way of using it is um, let's say that you can't go up, so you go down. Switch grip and elbow right into his arm, especially if you've got a weapon. Right? Let's say he's got a knife. You want to keep both arms on it and you want to disable his arm. So one way, you can strip the knife. Let's say you got a knife, strip the knife. Once you strip the knife, all right, another way of using the elbow is um, against weapons. So you want to use your, first of all, elbows to block because it's the least damage you're going to do if he cuts you. It's in the outside of your arms. First of all, block. Okay? Second thing you want to do is try to break elbow joints. Okay, so one way of doing it is going up and this way. That extends his arm and then if you hit him hard enough, sometimes you drop the knife. If he doesn't drop the knife, that's okay. Grab it and strip it all of the hand. Now I've got the knife, okay? So one other way of doing it is, um, here again. So elbow block. This one doesn't work, right? So I strip the knife and now I've got this one here, right? So I can do another elbow strike at the same time. The elbow and pull. Okay, one other one you can do is uh, let's say that you do it again, and then again this side, right? So you do a kick, and then another elbow strike to the arm here. And then I can do it this way, okay? And strip the knife, All right? So elbows are very useful against weapons because you don't want to be using your hands to block a knife because obviously you're going to get cut. If you use elbows and your forearms to block at least this deflect knives, you got a lot better chances of surviving a knife attack. And it's really useful for breaking elbows, especially if you've got this specific boom right in the elbows. Okay? Especially if he's holding tight, you can't strip it, you want to loosen up the arm, boom, right in the elbow joint there. Alright, so that's some ways you can use the cup towel. Hey, thanks for watching my top five Wing Chun techniques. If this is your first time here, make sure you click on this button right here to subscribe and get the latest and best videos that I put out on this channel. 
Okay, so now that you watched this video, just go ahead and watch this next video here by clicking on this box, or you can also check out some of my most popular videos here too. All right, so comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.